Today we're going to demonstrate how to use Motion Pro's tracking tool. We're going to use a softball player today, but you can use it for baseball as well. First we want to start at the beginning of the swing where there's most significant movement. So we're not clicking on uh, non-movement. So right there I see some movement. I'll mark begin. I'll go through the swing to the end. Mark end. So now I just have the, the swing itself. I can slow it down. Now I'm just going to click on this kite up here. It's going to tell me I could start my data points and basically all I'm doing is clicking on an object, in this case a bat. So I'm going to click on the end of the bat. As I'm clicking, the video is advancing a frame and drawing a line. Then at the end, it'll stop. Or if you right click, it'll, it'll stop as well if you want to end early. I'm going to click the up arrow above here where the green is to make my line thicker. If you hit play, you'll see uh, how easy it was to track the softball player. I'm going to hit stop. Now we're going to uh, show you how to show the speed of the bat. And this is a normal video, no, nothing special, so you don't have to do anything special. Just record. So I'm going to draw a line on home plate here. I just need some measurement close to the subject, so I know how far the camera was. So I'm going to go to Advance, Swing Speed, Set Calibration, and home plate is about 18 inches, so I'll click OK. And then you simply go up to Advance, Swing Speed, Show Speed. And it shows me in miles per hour how fast her swing is. And the uh, orange and red lines and numbers are just corresponding uh, to where the part of the swing is. So the colors have no significance but just to see clearly where where the numbers correspond. And that's how easy it is to use Motion Pro's tracking and swing calculation tool. And if you don't own our software already, you can find a, a trial at www.motionprosoftware.com.